Hey everybody, let's get into this makeup look. We're going to go from this to this. Okay, we're going to go real dramatic. So let's get started. My brows are already done. I'm going to prep my eyelids first with Max Prep and Prime. And then I'm going to add a little concealer over top of that. This is going to ensure that my eyeshadows do not crease. I say this in all my makeup looks. I have very oily lids. And if I do not add a eyelid primer, then my eyeshadows will crease. They will fade away over time. And I'll get those creases in my eye look. And I don't want that. So I do make sure to prep my eyelids. I'm adding some of my setting powder over top of that just to ensure that everything's locked in and not moving. I'm using my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I believe it's called that. Yeah, Born to Run. And I'm gonna go in with the Coral Eyeshadow first. This is going to be my transitional shade. So for transitional shades, this shade is going to be in the background, basically the base, and you can build on top of that, meaning you can add more eyeshadows on top of that, and it's gonna give the look a faded look, a blended look. And adding a base down is very important, especially if you have problem blending your eyeshadows. Now I'm taking a denser brush with this Cranberry eyeshadow, and I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner. This is going to give the eye look a shadow. It's gonna make my eyes look more defined. So I'm first gonna pack it on the outer corners and then I'm gonna blend it inwards slightly. After that, I take a clean blending brush to blend the edges just to ensure everything is seamless and I do not have any distinct lines. Now I'm gonna use this copper eyeshadow. It's kind of copper. I would say like copper bronze. I don't know, it looks so beautiful. It looks like a shiny penny, okay, shining. I'm going to apply that with my finger. This is very pigmented and I really love how this looks. The Urban Decay palette does have a similar eyeshadow. I will show you guys in the next clip what it looks like, but you can use that as well. Yeah, here it goes. This, that shade is pretty much the same thing, but I am gonna take that shade and use it to blend the edges. Now it's time to cut the crease. I'm doing a half cut crease, and whenever I'm placing my concealer to do the cut crease, I know where I want my crease to be, but if you don't know, what you do is apply it on your lid, look upward and downward. If you have hooded lids or a slight hood, that concealer is gonna transfer to the top. And that transfer where that line is, that's gonna be your end point. So you can carve out your crease from there. So for the main shadow on the lid, I'm using this gold champagne shade, very pigmented, very bright. I'm going to apply that all over where I place that concealer. Once that is done, I'm gonna go in with both those lid shades and blend them together. You just wanna pat in between just to blend that copper shade into the gold shade, which they blend very well because they're in similar tones. So just keep blending and patting that together so you do not get a distinct line. So I'm gonna add a glitter line where my cut crease is, and I'm using this glitter by Urban Decay. It's very liquidy, so just be careful and take your time with this step. Then I'm gonna add a little highlight underneath my brows. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to blow out that curl eyeshadow. I'm using a pencil brush because it's very small. It gets underneath my eyes and I'm able to get the pigmentation I like. I'm going to add a little bit of black eyeliner to my waterline. And here's when everything started to go away. Okay, my eyes start out to water so bad. So bad. So bad. I'm only gonna apply that pencil halfway on my lower lash line. To set that pencil and to ensure it's not moving, I'm going to use a brown eyeshadow and then I'm gonna use that same brown eyeshadow to add a wing on my outer corners, just a small baby wing. Do you think? We're awaiting your arrival. Do you think? Depend on you 
before I survive, yeah. Off camera, I added these lashes, and now it's time to do the face. I'm using my Makeup Forever foundation. Really love this foundation. It blends right into my skin. We wanna see you lifted higher. May other lights never blind us. See your glory all around us. Lord, guide us as we walk towards you. I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, around my mouth, blah, 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 same old, same old. I literally do the same exact steps all the time. And with concealer, I try to use a concealer that's close to my skin tone and also a concealer that's one to two shades lighter than my skin tone because I want to highlight my face. I want those areas to stand out. So one to two shades is perfect for me. I try to stick to concealers that have kind of a neutral undertone or a yellow undertone. Whenever you see me doing the step, you do not have to do all of this. I just like the whole look of adding a little more concealer than needed, like more of a dramatic look. But I definitely would say a little concealer goes a long way. Do not apply a lot, especially if you have fine lines, if you have more mature skin. Less is definitely more. And then I'm going to set those areas so they do not move. I'm then gonna add some bronzer. If you haven't noticed, I do not set my face with a powder. I don't do that anymore. I used to do that a lot when my skin was oily, but I do have dry skin. So setting my whole face with powder is unnecessary. I only set my concealer because I find that concealer can move throughout the day and I would get more creases. So that's the only area I set. I do not set the rest of my face. So I've been using this highlighter and blush palette to death, guys. I really love this. I really love them. I, I love both the shades. I'm gonna highlight with those two shades. One is a champagne shade, more of a champagne gold shade, and the other shade has a pink undertone. But mixed together, it just gives the face like a copperish look. I don't know, it looks beautiful on my skin. I'm gonna add the blush in that palette as well just to make everything look cohesive. And the look is coming together, guys. I'm gonna set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, an OG, triple OG, one of my fave setting sprays, okay? They, this spray does not dry my face out. It really sets everything, too. Now, I'm gonna go bold with lip, super bold, super green metallic lip, and I'm using this eye pencil from Urban Decay. If you don't feel comfortable using your eye pencils on your lips, then don't do it, but I don't care, okay? <laughs> and I really love the shade, but the look is complete. What do you guys think, okay? I know it's very dramatic. If you don't like the green lip with this look, you can definitely go in with a neutral lip, so if you have any requests, any looks you wanna see, I know you guys wanna see more neutral looks. I'm definitely gonna do that. Liner, foundation, hacks, stuff like that. I know you guys wanna see that, but leave any other requests too, any fun requests, okay? Cool, colorful looks. If you have any in mind, leave those down below. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you can see more videos from me. Like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cause there's peace and much serenity When I know the battle has been fought for me The enemy been the same for 2,000 years Doubt, disbelief and fear never